Hello there. Let's talk today about the hydraulic jump. A hydraulic jump occurs in an open channel where the upstream Freud number is 3.96 and the upstream depth is 0.65 meters. Most nearly, what is the height of the hydraulic jump? I suggest let's go first and look in the FE handbook and see the formula for the hydraulic jump. If you go here and just type hydraulic jump, it should take you there straight to this formula over here. So we have y2 equals to this and that. y1 is the flow depth at upstream supercritical flow location. y2 is the flow depth at downstream subcritical flow location. And fr1 is the Freud number. So going back to our problem, I have the value for the upstream depth. So upstream depth, that means that I have y1. So hydraulic jump occurs when, if you were to think about a spillway, when the water comes with a certain speed, goes down like this, and then here at the bottom, due to the speed, it's going to create a tin layer, and then it's going to go up like this. This is y1 and this height over here is y2 and the problem is asking what is the height of the hydraulic jump so we must calculate this value over here hydraulic jump or this happens when we have Open channel, I think, is when you have, there's a gate and there's water on this side. Then this is the earth. And then the water flows underneath this gate. And depending on its speed, it's going to create a hydraulic jump here. So this is the value of y1. This is, let me delete this a little bit to make it a little bit better looking. And this is the value of y2. And this is going to be hydraulic jump over here. So starting from the beginning, let's see what do we know. We know the Freud number is 3.96 and we know y1 is equal to 0 0.65 meters. And we have to calculate And we have to calculate the hydraulic jump, which is equal to y2 minus y1. So if we were to continue over here, the formula for y2 is given in the FE handbook. Going back here, this is the formula that we are going to write. And we know y1. We also know the Freud number it's given. So we can go ahead and calculate y2. And actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to write down the formula for y2, which is y1 over 2 multiplied by minus 1 plus square root of 1 plus 8 multiplied by Freud number squared. And then continue with minus y1 equals. So we know everything. The only thing we have to just substitute with the values that we know. Y1 is 0 0.65 over 2 multiplied by minus 1 plus square root of 1 plus 8 multiplied by Freud number is 3.96 squared minus y1 which is 0 0.65 equals 
to results that hydraulic jump equals two. So just go ahead, use your calculators, and let's see what do we get. So 3.86 squared, eight multiplied, one plus, square root of that, minus one plus, 0 0.65 multiplied to divided and 0 0.65 minus. Okay, I get a hydraulic jump of 2.679, so just 68 meters, which is approximately equal to 2.7 meters. Looking at the answers, B is the correct answer. Let's move forward, problem number two. An open channel is upstream of hydraulic jump. The channel has an upstream flow velocity of five meters per second, a constant headwater of 0 0.5 meters, and a Freud number of 2.26. If the velocity is increased by 10%, what is most nearly the hydraulic jump increase? So let's uh, go ahead and make our little sketch here. This is our gate. We have water. Let me make it blue. We have water on this side. Then I'm going to make the earth underneath. This is the ground. And then water is coming this way and then it creates this jump here and this comes with a speed velocity equals to five meters per second and here we have y1 this is going to be y2 so what the problem is saying is if we increase the velocity by 10%, what is most nearly the hydraulic jump increase? If we increase this velocity by 10%, what's going to happen here, I'm going to draw it in, in green, even though the water is not green, but what's going to happen, imagine if the water comes with a greater speed, we're going to have a bigger jump here, right? So this is going to be another Y2 that's going to form. And the problem is asking us, what is the increase? What is the hydraulic jump increase? And the increase is this distance over here. This is what we got to calculate. And I'm going to call it just y. I'm going to call it y. So we have to find out this y the difference between these two distances over here. So first of all, let's calculate y2 in blue, go back to blue. So I'm gonna say that we have, first of all, you know what, let me do y1 equals to 0 0.5 meters. I have Freud number equals to 2.26 for the velocity of 5 meters per second. So with this data, I can calculate y2, which is equal to y1 over 2, multiplied by 1 minus 1 plus square root of 1 plus 8, multiplied by Freud number squared, so y2 is going to be equal to 0 0.5 meters over 2 multiplied by minus 1 plus square root of 1 plus 8 multiplied by Freud number is 2.26 squared. And let's close the parentheses. Equals. Let's see what do we get. Everybody take your calculator. 2.26 squared, 8 multiplied, 1 plus, square root of that, 
1 minus plus 0 0.5 multiplied 2 divided, I get y2 equals to 1.37 meters. Perfect. And moving forward, let's see how do we calculate the y2 in green. So we are told that if the velocity increased by 10%, what is most nearly the hydraulic jump increase? So let's start by understanding that for our second case, we're going to have the same y1. y1 is going to be still 0 0.5 meters. If we increase the velocity, we're going to have the same y1. Now, Freud number is dependent upon the velocity. If you go back to the FE handbook, and I'm going to write Freud, it should get me to the formula. Here it is. So Freud number has two formulas here, one that is dependent upon velocity, which is the one that we're going to use, velocity over g multiplied y age, and y age is the hydraulic depth, which you'll see in our case, hydraulic depth is equals to y1. So Freud number, let's go ahead and apply the formula. We have velocity divided by square root of g multiplied by y age. Okay, let's see what is velocity. So velocity in our case is going to be 1.1 multiplied by v, which is in blue. Let me call this v1 so we can get rid of any confusions. So we have 1.1 multiplied by 5 meters per second. And I'm going to get a velocity of 5.5 .5 meters per second. So now we can go back to the Freud formula. 5.5 .5 meters per second divided by square root of G is 9.81 meters per second squared multiplied by YH, which is Y1, by 0 0.5 meters. And let's go ahead and do the math. We're going to get 5.581. 5 0 0.5 multiplied, square root of that, and then 5.5 divided by that. So I get that the Freud number with a speed of 5.5 meters per second is 2.48. So now that we have all the data we need, we can go ahead and apply or calculate Y2 in green. We're going to have 0 0.5 over 2 multiplied by minus 1 plus 1 plus 8 multiplied by Freud number squared, which is 2.48 squared. And this is equal to, let's go ahead and use our calculators, 2.48 squared, 8 multiplied, 1 plus, square root of that, 1 minus 1 plus 0 0.5 multiplied 2 divided. So I get that y2 in green is equal to 1.52 meters. So when we increase the speed, we get a greater jump here. So now the difference is going to be equal to y2 minus y2 in blue and I'm going to get 1.52 minus 1.37 and I get 
that the difference or the increase in jump 1.52 1.37 minus is 0 0.15 meters so the correct answer is b